It's the crossover. Yeah. Evan, that stat about mm, that stat about the Warriors are in dev, are, are have an oppor, not an opportunity, but they could be the first team. Yeah, I need you to put these on. Yeah, right. That that stat about the Warriors could be the first team on the second team in history to be over 500 on the road and under 500 at home. Yes. Yeah. Are you you're asking for the other team? Well, the other team's the Brooklyn Nets from a few years ago. Yes, no other team has finished the season above 500 on the road and below 500 at home. That's yeah. what it was. We were talking about just who had a better record at home oh. than on the road. I'm sorry, on the road than at home. Yeah. Right. But that's actually under 500 at home, over 500 on the okay. road. Okay. That Got makes, uh, no, that that's, that's that's makes more sense. It's that's been different. done yeah. only one time in gotcha. NBA history, yeah. and it was two years ago. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. And you mentioned that, and uh, on my drive in, I was locked into you two. I thought you guys were having a monster show, and you said that, and then <laughs> I, I, I waited through the break, and we came on the other side, and I thought he's going to explain, because Steiny said the Warriors are endeavoring to do something that's only been done once before, and I didn't know what that was, and he kind of left me hanging, so wow. I'm glad you paid it off two hours later. And a bad partner I was, Willard. I didn't remind <laughs> yeah, him. I kept him for two hours. It's the greatest tease well, of I'll all time. I'll tell you what, yeah, I can't wait for... Driveway <laughs> moment. You, you guys never left home. and Steve Kerr at three. Because <laughs> you guys go there... And if I can, people think I get out of bed happy that this happened with Draymond. I, I don't. We just talk about it. But, Willard, I will forever remember what I saw last night in Orlando from Steph Curry getting emotional because it gave me finally the answer, Dibs, of it is hard to deal with that with Draymond and the antics. I didn't know. We thought. But that, to me, that was symbolic, and I'm not happy, but to see Steph take it that way. We got 10 games left. We're on a back-to-back. No Kaminga. I guess Willard and Dibs, I'm saying, to me, I took that as ultimate disappointment from the chef. A picture is worth a thousand words, and he was saying a lot in that moment. We've learned that the Warriors hear everything, and what I think we've expressed, a lot of fans have expressed, is that whether it's true or not, it feels like in the last couple of weeks, like this veteran-laden team is not interested in the 10 seed, and they don't care. And I think a big part of not just being tossed, but being tossed before people had even gotten to their seats, therefore meaning frustration could not have built up yet. Dude, you just walked out onto the court. That's what's getting a lot of people here. It's what got me. And I, I noticed in Steph's postgame comments, not just saying we can't do this self-inflicted stuff. He added, we care. We have to give ourselves a shot. The 10 seed matters. It's as if the organization was saying, we hear that you think that we wow. don't care, and that's a bad characteristic. And and what Draymond did last night really fed into that. And so I think that's, that's part of the, at least in my mind, that's part of the emotion that we saw on the court. But you're damn right. Like, one hour and 10 minutes away, we'll... We'll ask some of these questions. Dibs, what do you call what he did last night, Draymond? Selfish. Wow, It's the man. ultimate act of selfishness because I've watched it back now eight to ten times, and he's not taking up for a teammate. He's taking up for himself. So what happened when he gets the tech is Steph reaches in carelessly and commits a foul. Now, did Bancaro barge into Wiggins or not? It's the NBA, whatever. They called Steph for a reach-in. Draymond turns around and finds the official who had just called him for a foul. Uh, one previous trip, and the foul that they called on Draymond was a bad call. Bancaro tripped over his own feet. Draymond had a hand on him. Bancaro falls on his own, and the outside official calls the foul on Draymond, and Draymond waits until the next stoppage and beelines for the official and just begins to berate him over a first-quarter blown call. Wow. To me, that's not emotional growth. That is a man acting selfishly and trying to exert his own will over a call that went against him and then he goes in there and he bumps the ref and the, the ref has to put the whistle back in his mouth to give him the tech the ref was probably going to let him have his say and walk away but once you get bumped that's an automatic you think the league's looking at that absolutely i mean how could they not and the rules state if the player intentionally and that's where the uh, the gray area lies if a player intentionally contacts a referee it's an automatic one-game suspension. Well, well and, and they absolutely could be looking at it, and for that reason and more. you got to remember now, optics. 
And the NBA, the reason that they suspended Draymond Green indefinitely is not because they're on their moral high horse. It's because they do not want this to be their look in a corporate sense to their audience. That You have large men just out there fighting each other. And when you turn around and the cameras... Everybody knows damn well what he said. Mm. Right. Okay. And that's after the first tech. Right. Everybody knows what he said. The ref you too. don't need yeah. to be a good lip reader. This is not Jimmy Garoppolo yeah. questioning Kyle yeah. Shanahan's right. play calling. Wow. Everybody knows what he said. Or Kevin Durant saying, that's why I'm out of here. Right. This Now, this is terrible optics. And if the NBA doesn't want that out there, how wow. could you argue with them? And How they, could you argue? And for the second tech, the ref is actually doing what everyone wants the refs to walking do. Walking away. He's walking away. And he hears out of his left ear as he's facing the scores table, Draymond use those three words. Oh. And at that point, what's he supposed to do? And, and, and Draymond Green then doing a podcast and oh, arguing, that hurt my heart. arguing that what happened was I just didn't turn my body enough. It's, as opposed that hurt to, us, Mark. I don't know. How about, how I about, shouldn't have said it. How about don't say it? Or how about leave 30 seconds earlier? And I know, listen, I, this is not about me or any of us, but I'll go ahead and say it right now because I know that some people have reminded me of the show that we did last week. I hadn't saw or heard. I was out, but I think Madoni put it out I, there. I, 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 I will that was remember, last week? I, I think it was. You were, yeah, yeah, you were gone okay. in Vegas. Well, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah you, you were, were gone. gone. Yeah, he was in no, he was, yeah. You were gone for half yeah. the week. I don't, I don't remember which day yeah. it was. But, uh, but there is digital content that is out there. Mm. About me saying, and, and this is part of why I feel like Steph was so frustrated, very impressed by what appeared to me to be the growth with Draymond Green. This was the game against, was it uh, Memphis, where, where he got oh, yeah. locked up yeah. right, right. under the hoop, and instead of turning it into a fight, he just gave him the no, like, we're not, you're not going to get under my oh, skin. So you responded to that. Yes, yeah. and I was like, that, that to me is growth versus what I think Draymond would have done in that situation three months ago. So I gave him the big right. I gave him the big round of applause, Man. applause emojis. Good job, Draymond. You've grown. I'll say it right now. I take it all back. Wow. And and I'm sorry I said it. And you can. I take it all back because that last night, there's not a damn thing that anybody can do to excuse it. I didn't get a chance to hear the roast this morning. I'd like to say to Bonte, brother, be free to say whatever the hell you want to say. Yeah. And if Draymond's oh, got asked. and if Draymond's got something to say to you the next time you guys are on TV together, he's wrong. That's it. Yeah. Like th th this is just I don't I I don't know how you can just and that's that's what's even worse. He blew it off. He put well, it's never as bad as it seems. Did, well, could you, we just no, played it, it. No, it is. Yes, it is. It you're, might be worse. You're like one of the greatest players of all time. Might have cried on the court last yes. night. Your teammate. Right. Who you are repeatedly now selling down the river. And I love what you said earlier when you said, I don't know if Draymond deserves Steph. Oh, man. Like, I mean, that guy's, you could easily argue that he owes his career to that man. And he's potentially crying on the court because nobody can get to you, brother. And I cringe right. when he was having the night night Dre waiting for him to come in. Like, do what you do, but those optics Steph, were just, yeah. Steph was like. Steph gave him that hug. Like, like Dre, read the room. That, yeah. You yeah. don't do that now. Not now. Game 72, when you need to, uh, you know, put in a little work to even make <sighs> it in the play-in, and you're going to do it like that. Oh. And it just, to me, it was the epitome of selfishness because. Good word. You, you have your say, and if you want to. You want to get mad over a call and get an early tech? Okay, get an early tech. It's what you do, Draymond. You're the best in the world at getting a tech and then going in later, and you know you got three quarters to double down on it because they don't really want to throw you out. And miss me with the whole the refs baited oh, him we've been garbage. getting calls of that all And I appreciate day. you guys really? yes. clapping Men back on that. Goaded. Yes. Listen, I, I, the, I'll, I'll tell you my experience with it. I heard it on the radio. When it actually happened live, I was still too. driving home. Yes. Tim Roy, and, out of and, fresh off well, of Bart. And Tim said something that I disagree with because it, it theater of the mind. And he said something to the effect of the official should have walked away. And I was immediately thinking, well, wow. then, yeah, because you know my take. Words should never right. throw a player, a, a, an entertainer, out of the entertainment product. But this is different. First of all, it's those words. But Correct. second of all, it was the space. It was the amount of time 
Steph is standing there tapping you on the chest oh, like, bro, hurt. like, okay, you got it off your chest. The ref was like, okay, did you get it out? Did you get it out? Did you get it out? Okay, let's move on. And then he does that. He had every chance in the world right. to, to have this not go that way, and, and he did it anyway. And that's that's why I think Curry ends up throwing his hands up like, I, I don't know. I don't, right. know, I don't know what no one else to do with this guy. Well, and you get to the off season, and I I was listening. You guys were great all day, and Thanks. you know, just like another show for you too. But I thought Steiny, the way you kind of reverse engineered it, looking at it from the backside going all the way to the front, and if and I kind of agree with you, if you're not going to be a championship contender going forward with Draymond, then you probably won't be one without Draymond either. So why not try to go forward without Draymond? See what you can get in the offseason. I know it's a little premature to get to that point, but I'm I'm at my wit's end. I'm done. My rope, wow. my wick is gone. There's nothing but wax left in yourself, the candle. Man. I know. And it's you know, if you're not gonna be a championship contender either way, and I kind of think that that window has closed and that part of the era is behind us, then let's let some other team and some other fan base deal wow. with the antics because the antics have become more of a distraction than what they're worth. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco, always live on the free Odyssey app, Twitch and YouTube, powered by First NorCal Credit Union. So when I, I didn't see in real time when he made contact with the official. So now I'm looking at the TV, and he is barking and barking and barking at the official. And at that point, I'm thinking, already, like, Man, they just allow him to talk like that to an official. And I do think they they give him some leeway. Like they I almost think they're like, he's very emotional. Don't take it as anger or or you know, finger pointing. He's just really animated. And I was like, man, they let him talk to them Boy. in a way that other players don't <laughs> talk to refs. And that wasn't what got him the tea. Nope. He got the T actually as he was walking away saying one last thing. Like he still That was the second T. He's correct. Yes. Yeah, correct. So he he got a T. He went off. They were going to allow him that steam to blow off. Right. But he couldn't even just let it there. He had to say one more thing that he knew were the magic words. Wow. Right. If only he had turned his body. Yeah. Now that was, was I, the right was, shoulder. Yeah. His right shoulder was a little. It flew open a little yeah. bit, and so actually, yeah. Rashid Wallace has been I breaking down the film and talking about his body language uh, in in the moment. You know, Rashid and Rodman both are going to weigh in on his footwork uh, in, all, in using uh, that phrase. We've all muttered stuff under our breath that got heard. Sure. Right. <laughs> Correct. Sure. Correct. But I mean, to do it in that moment, like Mark's saying, and the ref is, has already walked away. So he, he gets teed up for bumping the ref, and like it or dislike it, that's the rule. And he got an, you know, the ref had to put the whistle back in his mouth. So the ref was not, he was not like agitated and ready to tee him up. He gets bumped. So now you got to put the whistle in. Boom, that's a tee. And like Steiny says, Draymond goes off, and he's going to get a lot of rope there because he already got teed right. up. And, even, and then the ref walks away after 30 seconds. One of the other refs actually comes over and kind of escorts him, like, okay. That's enough. Let's walk away together. And then he says, what he, I said what I said. I'll never forget Steph in that moment, Willard. I know you could be like, come on, Goo, but I'll never forget that. Uh, he, it was not we, a break. That he was letting it all out. We've well, never, we never seen it before. Well, the other thing with Steph, the more I think, you know, We've Steph's never emotions. Seen it before. You're right. Like, and, and you brought this up with the punch. That wasn't the only, like, the punch was the culmination. Of you know what stuff that was, that right? was going so, culmination <laughs> sensation. Thank Good you. job. So, Good job. Thanks for contributing. What, <laughs> like, you can't watch Steph's uh, being disconsolate and not know this is so old to get to this point, mm. to get to see him like that on no the court. Doubt. If it were Draymond's first time, he wouldn't have done that. If it were his tenth time, he wouldn't have done that. Right. But for some reason. This was the hundredth time at the wrong time, and Steph just couldn't control himself. Think think about it this way, and, and this will relate to every single person listening to our voices. The Golden State Warriors, by and large, we see them for about seven and a half hours a week. Okay? Yeah, three how, games. How, how wow. many hours are there in a week? I see where you're going. Okay? 
Um, look at the four of us in this room, right? They, they hear us for four hours a day. Yeah. What about all of the other hours of the day? Like anybody who is a, a coworker or a family member, like you get seen for that tiny little snippet. Think about all of the other stuff. The comparison to what you're saying, Steiny, I just said yesterday being like, the, remember the Kyle Shanahan, Steve Wilkes thing. Yeah. It was my first reaction when Kyle did that after the Minnesota game and went, Steve knows that he messed up. And I went, oh, they've been fighting for weeks. Wow. Because you did it in front of a microphone. Right. It's not normal. And so Steph did it on TV. Man. And then talked about it afterwards on a microphone with cameras present and all of that. And that tells me what you're saying is true, which is that they are just absolutely... Oh, at the end of the row. The phrase is tip of the iceberg, and if you think about what that means, the tip of the iceberg is out of the water, but 94% of the iceberg is underwater. And that's what this is, where that's just the, the tip of the iceberg, Steph's frustration. So much ice beneath the surface of the water yeah. year after year yeah. of him, Draymond, cool it, cool it, and behind the scenes and in locker rooms, and he's going at Kerr, and he drove Durant out, and he coughed through the finals, and he chokes Gobert, and you were running down the yeah, list earlier, yeah. and I'm like... And I hated Man. to do it. Well, And you you did it, and I'm like, Guru, you missed out about 21 incidents. Wow. But if you ran through the whole list, we'd be out of time. Yeah, and Mark, the world I live in is everybody on that team cares about this 10th seed. It's pride. And I think Curry subconsciously let that out because Draymond, and we talked about it on the show, and I'm like, Stanley, they're all in. They'll, they want that. I now know that team that played yesterday, mine is Draymond Green, wanted the 10th seed. They're champs. And I just wonder, it was so symbolic if Steph was kind of letting us run with, I've had an F enough of this. How many times have you ever woken up and thought, Andrew Wiggins cared more than Draymond Green yesterday? Wow. Not that would be many. one. That, wow. that would be one. Because yeah. he was playing his tail off. Yeah, and Mark, you, Mark called it on our uh, Take to the Bank predictions yesterday in Warriors Live. He called Wiggins over 20 points. Oh, he did. Oh, boy. Which, which, which I'm glad, I'm glad it had you nothing to do with I, the Draymond Green well, I spent, I, we, we spent 90 minutes doing a show that a lot of people were like, damn. Like, you, you killed Andrew Wiggins. Thank you for bringing that up at the end. Yep. I'm like, yeah, I don't want him gone. I just found it. And th there is a parallel between Wiggins and Draymond which is that at a certain point, when does the message become just exhaustion? We're exhausted with the idea of telling you the same thing. Could that be why and Wiggins doesn't get it, off? I, I, I don't know. brought it up. But, I mean, Draymond, we're exhausted telling you to calm down. Andrew, we're exhausted telling you to, yeah. to, to stop, calm up. Yeah, to stop being <laughs> yeah. so calm. Like, but but it, when? When do you just go like... Ah. I, I don't, there was something there. To say. And here's yeah. this. And I, by the way, I did a quick uh, Google pre-show of Wiggins, what he did during the Draymond suspension, and he averaged 11.2. So it, it isn't as much of a no. uh, correlation as I was thinking that it might have been. I thought it but was more it was Kaminga. Kaminga no, that, yes. no doubt yeah. about like it. Like the yeah, way yeah. I look at it is, Kaminga's not there, and their number one ball hand, you know, outside Steph, their their initiator isn't there either, so he had to do some of that. So let's see on Friday if both those guys are back, kind of what, what happens. Because, right. Yeah. Like, well, if you get that Wiggins uh, like four times out of five, oh God. Man, I'd say, or th let's say three out of five. Yeah. I would rather have that Wiggins three out of five than have Draymond's act around. If Draymond being gone would lead Wiggins to be that player, then you then you man, keep Wiggins man. and you send out Draymond. I, yeah. I thought yesterday during the thread, and Grandy thought I was being serious, but I said, let's trade Draymond to Washington. Yeah. Pool and green together again. <laughs> yeah, that would be Grandy's like, I just, and Grandy's like, why would Washington want yeah, Draymond? Well, like, this is, it's, it's, I, it's like, I, I can already tell okay. you. Yeah, but I can already tell you coming up this summer. Uh, this is what we'll end up getting into. There's the, all the things you'd want to do, and then there's the, all the things that you can do. Right. And that's yeah. the Warriors' problem, whether it's finances or whether it's interest around the league. Um, that that's that's the problem with this whole thing. Because yeah, Grandy's response immediately is who 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 wants Draymond for yeah. seventy five million in three right, more right. years yeah. at the, at this point? Um, yeah. The thing the, the thing I was thinking about with Wiggins is just. I'm acknowledging, I'm giving him a break here because if Clay's back in the starting lineup, 
So you have Steph who's going to score. You have Clay who's going to look for a shot. And you've got Kaminga who's got to get the ball. Like, you've got yeah. to give it, like... I can see how Wiggins, with his personality, slips through the cracks totally. with those three guys. Well, and as I, the, the reason I said what I said yesterday on the on the pregame was because specifically Jonathan Kaminga. Right. And, and and what did you call uh, at, Wiggins? Hey, dude, you take it. Which means at the end of the shot, shot clock, clock is running down, <laughs> and our play didn't oh, wow. work. Hey, dude, you take it. Because he has those And Kaminga has been that guy for the Warriors, like Durant used to be. And Kaminga's still learning how to do that. But in the absence of Kaminga, that becomes Wiggins. No doubt. Hey, right. dude, you take it. And so I thought that the opportunity is there for him to, to have a good game. You just never know if he's going to step into that opportunity. Last night, and I told you, Donnie, it's not a batting order. So why can't he have that mechanism of... They need, last night he knew they needed him with no, they, and it was fun. he was awesome to watch. Every shot didn't oh. go in, but he was. I was like, he's a problem. He's a beautiful right, athlete when he does those, this. Where is that he, on the th- nightly? And that, there, and he, he doesn't have room on the, when they're complete. But, but he but doesn't have good? the mentality. And no, that's right. Where, and, and, right. That's more where than the he, room. like he'll just slip through the cracks the rather than go get it. He's not the receiver who's going to the sideline and throwing okay, his helmet down because he's Diggs. not getting targeted. There we right. go. That helps. Right. I believe that right. helps. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Diggs yeah. and Buffalo. He's Andre oh, yeah. Johnson right. as a receiver. Yeah. It's like, oh, my God, you're overwhelmingly gifted, he, and you never speak? Yeah, and that, exactly. We've never heard you speak? Yeah. Hey, uh, you that guys have great. Steve Kerr coming up at 3 o'clock. I can't yes, wait, we do. I, I want you to ask him a few things. Uh uh, text me a list. Uh, Go ahead. You can stick around. No, that's the no, joke. Yeah. Look at him. Hey, he ask stick Steve Kerr. <laughs> he breaks why, it yeah. Ask Steve Kerr. I'm coming at him about Sharich. Why is he burying yeah, Sharich? That was for Do me. you hate Euros? <laughs> Steve, did we lose you? Uh, there it's two Warriors. Uh, but real quick, Sadie, uh, speak of Kerr. He said he should have got thrown out. So he's not. He's past biting his tongue. He said it was the right thing. He should have got thrown out. Like before, they used to be a little, eh. He was... Everybody's wow. just letting it out, man. Like I'm, I'm not hiding. Yeah, you, can't. you can't hide you from can't it, anymore. it anymore. All right, wow. Yeah. Well, can't. he said what he said. You know? <laughs> well, we got that. And that, Florio. that to me is, you know, you, you go right to your podcast and that hurt me. You know, you come out with, well, Goo. I said what I said. Yeah, I, I, I got it at plus six hundred that Steve will say to us, "Look, we've talked to Draymond about turning his right shoulder <laughs> yeah. harder." Could you believe when he wants to use profanity part. directed at a ref? Yeah. yeah, I don't think he'll say that. If I could leave you with one thing, it's. Now, things are never never as bad as they seem. And <laughs> they're never as good they're as they seem. Good, yeah. They're never as good as okay. they seem. Hey, do you think... Oh, no, oh. Uh, I was just going to ask you. Prediction, real oh. quick. Does he get suspended? I say no. I pro- I'm i going to say no because... Yeah, I say no, too. Okay. But if he get if he did, I wouldn't be that surprised. Because nothing is out there of maybe they might even be looking at it. I heard it from you two. Well, they look normally, at it without, but know. normally we have somebody yeah. on Twitter like uh, looking. I, mean, I ain't seen I none of that. I think it's a yes for the bump, and then also yeah. the three word uh, salutation on his way yeah. off. And the of floor. course, you could always throw in the failing to leave the court in a timely, timely manner. manner. Yeah, <laughs> well, actually, he left. He was, he was very, very timely. He looked like, like he knew. Yeah. That's actually, that like is he knew. true. Yeah. 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 He wasn't technically thrown yeah. out when he was lingering. Do, 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 <laughs> exactly. Don't you feel like when there's a suspension, you sort of like hear a little bit of a uh, an NBA reporter buzz to it? <laughs> like the NBA is reviewing the uh, Draymond Green situation. I haven't seen any of that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So. We got to cut a spec, and you guys got Steve Kerr oh, yeah. Yeah. on 95.7. The game. Yes, sir.